Hi, I'm David Fortier with Firearms News Magazine, and I'm here with Jeff Hoffman, the founder and owner of Black Hills Ammunition. Uh, they recently introduced a new dual performance bullet into their ammunition line, and he's going to give us an interesting look at exactly what this does. David, what we've got this year is a bullet we're calling the dual performance. It's a monolithic <sighs> copper bullet, a machined bullet uh, that is giving us great performance. And I have to add right at the beginning here, I was always a skeptic of copper bullets when they first came out. Uh, I looked at it and I thought, just from my experience, copper is harder than lead. Uh, you're probably going to have a difficult time getting these bullets to open up. I was so wrong. And that's been proven by the, the, the Hornady GMX bullets, the Barnes TSX, and now these bullets uh, that we're having manufactured by Lehigh Defense. The wonder of machining bullets is with the precision that they can put into this, they can make those copper bullets do amazing things. And they, they definitely proved me wrong. You can make them expand easily uh, upon impact, provide big temporary cavities. You can design them to retain their weight and penetrate deeply. Or in this case, we designed it as dual performance so that it does several things. It, it expands right away. It'll penetrate uh, and form a, a large temporary cavity. But after it does that, the, the pedals will shear off, create their own separate wound tracks, and the shank of the bullet at that point has much reduced drag and we can get great penetration out of it. So that's the, that's the, the concept here is we're using machined bullets designed for specific velocities to accomplish the tasks we want. Open up immediately, big cavities, long cavities, and great penetration. Okay, so the question I would have would be, what calibers are you gonna offer it in? Last year, we introduced it in 5.56 with a 62 grain and 308 with 152 grain. This year, we're introducing it in two blackout versions and a 6.5 Creedmoor. Those are both really popular calibers. The, on the blackout version, uh, we're able to offer a supersonic and a subsonic and get both of them. They're entirely different bullets, but they're designed to perform within their velocity windows. Uh, one of the difficulties with, with blackouts is at the subsonic velocities, most bullets aren't designed to perform very well at those subsonic velocities. This bullet performs very well because the, the wonders of modern machining uh, the people at Lehigh Defense can manufacture these bullets to get them to perform at whatever window you tell them that you want it to. So in, the, in, in this case, at subsonic velocities of 1050 to 1100 feet per second, we're getting a bullet that uh, opens up pretty wide. The pedals peel off and form their own wound tracks. So you've got three pedals going off. Uh, with a diameter of between the, the, the widest points on them of about three and a half inches, which is really good for a subsonic bullet. And then the shank of that bullet will penetrate on for about another 22 inches. So you're really maximizing the kind of performance that you can get out of a blackout subsonic bullet. In addition to that, we've got a supersonic bullet, 115 grain. The, the standard we tend to use is I compare stuff to the best 5.56 bullets. Uh, blackouts, a blackout, you got a bigger, heavier bullet, uh, but it's going a little bit slower. So you end up with really similar performance. In this case, we've got a, over a five inch, almost a six inch temporary cavity that forms. And then you get penetration that goes out to about 22, 23 inches. Uh, so really good performance in, in blackout tailored to each velocity, uh, even though they're both the same basic design. One of them's a 115, one of them's a 198 monolithic copper uh, and designed to perform at their respective velocities. The third one that we're offering this year is for the really popular 6.5 Creedmoor. There's lots of really good long range bullets out there, but we wanted something that was a great hunting bullet. You give up a little bit in BC, but you pick up a lot of penetration and expansion capability. So you, you get both, you get the expansion, the big temporary cavity diameter, then the pedals blow off and then you get good penetration for shooting mule deer. So, and it's got a wide range of velocity uh, the, the, that this will operate at. So 
uh, it's again, it's just amazing what they can do with copper bullets and uh, we're demonstrating them here. I think the, everybody's gonna really love what these bullets do. Thanks again, Jeff, for uh, giving us this look behind the scenes. Thank you, David. Always enjoy talking with you. Uh, appreciate the opportunity.